Hello guys, I am Dr. Vaseem from Junical RCMP. Today we are going to examine a patient who has been diagnosed with mitral stenosis. So I will do the relevant cardiovascular examination to give you the findings of mitral stenosis. Remember this is a pure mitral stenosis without any complication because with complications they can have other findings as well. So starting the examination, wash your hands. Ask for Shepran, take consent. Hello ma'am, I am Dr. Vaseem. Today I will examine the front of your chest for heart problem. Is it okay for you? Yes. Thank you. I will expose your chest. Patient should be at 45. Exposure should be proper. Whole of the chest should be visible. Maybe upper part of the abdomen as well. Okay, now on the general look, patient may be breathless and she may be coughing. She may have a malar flush, redness over the cheeks and mitral stenosis. And she may have swelling on the legs and feet. Now I will go to the pulse specifically. So when you are palpating the pulse, patient with mitral stenosis have low volume pulse, it's quite difficult to feel. And if patient with mitral stenosis develop atrial fibrillation, they can have irregularly irregular pulse. Going to the face, you will see the malar flush or redness over the cheeks. Look into the oral cavity for central cyanosis. Look at the neck. In pure mitral stenosis, JVP will not be raised. And then feeling the carotids for the character of the pulse. And as I mentioned earlier, patient will have a low volume pulse. Going to the chest and heart examination, looking at the apex beat. It may be visible, it may not be visible. I will try to feel it. Okay, suppose I can feel it here. I will localize it with one finger and then I will count the space. This is the sternal angle, second rib, second intercostal space, third, fourth and fifth, fifth intercostal space. And medial end of the clavicle, lateral end of the clavicle, mid clavicular point, dry, vertical line, downward and you can see the apex beat is medial to the mid clavicular line which is the normal position. So in mitral stenosis, the apex beat is not shifted. When you put your hand over the apex, the character of the apex beat is tapping. Actually, it is loud, palpable, hard sound. And you may also feel the thrill, thrill of the murmur of the mitral stenosis. And when you time it with carotid, you will feel that this thrill is in the diastole. It is diastolic thrill. If it is coming before the carotid pulse, this is diastolic. Okay. And then I will go for right ventricular heave. With pure mitral stenosis, without any complication, there will be no right ventricular heave. However, if patient has developed pulmonary hypertension and right ventricular hypertrophy, then there may be right ventricular heave. You can feel the other areas. And then I will ask it. Apical area or mitral area, timing with carotid. So I can listen the first heart sound, second heart sound. First heart sound is loud. second heart sound is audible. There is an extra sound after second heart sound which is called opening snap. And there is a mid diastolic rough rumbling murmur which becomes louder at the end. Okay, This murmur is best heard with the bell because it is a low pitch murmur so I will ask it with the bell and 
ask the patient to tilt towards left side like this and ask her to breathe out and hold her breathing so the murmur will become more marked louder easily audible so you can listen the murmur now okay uh, for comparison i will put the stethoscope on the pulmonary area for example here now you see that murmur is not audible now you can listen the two sounds first and second first first the sound which is audible when i say first this is the first heart sound first 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 okay so you can listen that the there is an opening snare after the second heart sound but you cannot actually listen the murmur as you are listening at the mitral area now again i go to the mitral area okay now you listen so you see you can listen the mitral stenosis murmur here again you can see first heart sound which is loud second heart sound after that there is an extra sound called opening snare then there is a rough murmur we call it low pitch rough rumbling murmur in the middle part of the diastole and the late part of the diastole and it becomes louder in the late part of the diastole we call it pre systolic accentuation okay now we will auscultate over the aortic area to see the difference first this is first heart sound first 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 after second heart sound there is an extra sound sec sorry second second so second sound is not single there is an extra sound after second heart sound this is opening snap again we go to the mitral area and we listen the murmur they say the cadence of the murmur is like the heart is saying what to do what to do what to do and this murmur is quite localized it is there is no radiation to the axilla and also there is no radiation to the carotids if patient develops pulmonary hypertension as a complication of mitral stenosis then the second heart sound at the pulmonary area will also become loud and there may be an ejection systolic murmur at the pulmonary area in that case jvp may also be raised So these are the findings of mitral stenosis thank you very much